Hi, welcome back to another one of our bow reviews from Find It Archery Supplies. Today we're going to talk about the Cartel Midas. The Cartel Midas recurve riser, it's one of the best risers we believe for bare bow shooting. So that's guys that want to shoot their bow out there, no sights, completely unaided with no weight. Now, what makes this bow so good for that? It's its sheer density to the bow itself. The riser is about 1300 grams. It's a very heavy riser, but extremely solid. It is so solid and it's so quiet. When you put those limbs in and you let that bow go, it just takes that shock, which makes it an excellent choice for that bare bow style shooting. When you're doing bare bow, you want a riser that sits very flat in your hand, doesn't give you a lot of jump, and doesn't need a lot of front weight. Most rules in countries, depending on the country, say about their weight system. Some you have to have the weight very close, some you can use a very small stabiliser, but generally for bare bow, the whole idea is to keep the bow pretty compact. Most bare bow shooters are doing field shooting. You don't want a bow that you need to have all that weight on when you're walking through the forest. As far as we are concerned, this bow for bare bow shooting is probably the best you can buy. For its money and for its value, it's extremely good. The Cartel Midas bow is well made. However, the paint jobs can let it down. However, some of the paint colours look exceptionally good. When you look at, say, this one here, for example, the red one, it just doesn't feel or gleam out to you for what it should for a bow in this price range. However, when you look at the silver and the green, they're a beautiful paint job. They just stand right out and catch your eye. And you know, it really does make the bow look its value. So it's very hit and miss with the paint job on these. These are a machined riser. They are a cast and machined riser, not a, just a one piece machine. So that is a slight negative to these sorts of risers but it's very dense and they've definitely got that weight down pat. The Cartel Midas system has a beautiful height adjustment point, very similar to what the Samic Xenotech looked like when it came out in this section here. The limb pocket system, now it's a very similar limb pocket adjustment system to the Hoyt Horizon. It's a very small pocket here with a single bolt option. However, Midas here have definitely improved it with a bigger grub screw both here and here which makes it a much more solid and finer adjustment point having small small grub screws makes it awfully fiddly and hard to get in there and you don't want to be spending the rest of your day mucking around with trying to get just to get your allen key into the grub screw this you want to be able to get in get it done and get it adjusted so it's a very simple adjustment point however one negative to the pocket system is it doesn't give you a huge amount of adjustment it's very limited. So if there's any flaws in the riser, it's gonna stand out very quickly to you. It does come with a wooden handle. The handle is very well made, very well shaped, has a lovely grip to it, and it just feels very comfortable in your hand. There is a left-handed option to these risers as well, and in most cases is available upon order only. But the handle grip on this, it just feels so finished. It's so well made. These retail for about $450, give or take, depending on the country and depending on the reseller. But on a whole, around $450. Now our recommendation for this, not so much of a target bow. It's great for that field shooting environment where you don't have that weight option, where you can't put long stabilizers or side adjustments on it, where you need a solid feel. This bow has it all. It's a very solid shot. We generally put these out the door with either its counterpart limb, which is the Cartel Midas limb, or the Kaya K3s. We find those limb combinations work very well in this riser. However, any IRF limb will fit in this pocket system. So if you will need a riser but you want some speed, you can maybe consider Win and Win Powers, or Samic Extreme 2s, or something like the Uki UX100. So there are a few options that you can go to for a higher-ended version of this, by simply just specking it out with those glossy, more fancy limb combinations. But if you're a bare bow shooter and you're on the line and you're doing that feeder style competition, you're definitely going to be wanting to use something like the UX100s, Samic Extreme 2s, or Masters even, or the Win and Win Powers. They're really going to be the kind of limbs you're going to put in this riser for that higher end competition. 
But for bare bow field shooting, you're probably going to want to come down a little bit in that limb option and maybe look at more of the timber carbon based limb combinations like the Midas limbs, the Avanti limb, the Athlete limbs and the Win and Win Powers, or Primes, sorry. So that's generally our recommendation. Out of five stars, we give this bow about a four and a half star rating. It's exceptionally good. The only thing that knocks it down that half star is some of the paint finishes just don't come out that finished option. So when you're looking for a bare bow choice for the, the Midas riser, we well recommend it and happy shooting.